All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. And today we're going over to Cloudwater in collaboration with Range out of Australia. And this is Dipper version 16. Uh, I missed 15, but it doesn't really matter. Not that I'm counting. And yeah, this is a double IPA. Was very impressed with the sort of the first of the the rebirth, number 15 of other half, both other half's version and Cloud Waters version. I'm not sure if they did the same thing with this, I'd imagine so. But um yeah, not had anything from range as of yet, so this will be the first. And I also uh picked up the triple IPA that tracked it with range. I was gonna do like them together in one video, but I thought better of it, a double IPA and a triple IPA. It's doable but uh, not very sensible. So uh, yeah, I'm sure Big Sam will uh, appreciate this one. I've heard a lot of good things about range. Would have done it in a cloud water glass, but uh, shock horror, my latest cloud water glass smashed, not by my hand, by the clumsiness of someone else. But do you know what? It's sand shaped into a glass with something printed on it. There's bigger issues out there. Anyway, so I'm using me track uh, craft diaries glass for this one. Even though I've started to like shy away from using this shaped glass because I like something with a stem or a tubo. A tubo's a good glass for me. Anyway, shut up and just get on with the, the beer review. Can't remember what hops are used in this one. Um, got a feeling there's going to be either Australian or New Zealand hops in there. Um, but it is what it is. And what it is, is a very nice, slightly darker, um, hazy double IPA. Very nice. And that's almost got like a golden look to it without it being gold, which is just yellow. Do you know what I mean? What a stupid thing to say. Uh, beer poured with just one finger's worth of uh, creamy white head. Let's see what we get on the nose. Ooh. It's got this sort of like sherbetty, powdery sort of aroma to it. A little bit of tropical notes coming through. Maybe even like a hint of like a fresh mint. Very slight though. The usual blood orange, clementine, grapefruit notes. The sort of the naturally sweeter side of citrus. Which sounds like uh, the title of a concept album. Don't know who by. So we'll shelf that. But it's not like really aggressively hoppy. I mean, I know it has been out for a little while as of uh, purchasing and recording. Uh, yes, I think it was uh, canned on the 24th of January or 26th of January. Mind you, it's not that. I don't know. Is it? Anyway, it's it's hard to see, especially when you've got beer in it, because one false move and you're covered in beer. Um, my hair's a little bit too rounded for my liking today, so let's mess it up a little bit. Have that messy, doesn't give a shit aesthetic, because I am messy and don't give a shit. Sounds like proper, like, white girl shit, but anyway, smells good. Let's give it a taste. Cheers. There's definitely got to be some New Zealandish hops going on there because it's very, very musky. The body's nice, although I think I'm just so conditioned to expecting every double IPA from the likes of Cloudwater to be like thick and creamy. But yeah, very musky, this one. A little bit dank, but I don't know. 
dry tasting and it finishes a little bit dry. Not really fruity in terms of like hop character. Musky grapes. A little bit of an aftertaste that I'm not personally a fan of, uh, which is something that I do tend to get from New Zealand or Australian hops. But, you know, it's a well-brewed beer, as you would expect. It's just not my sort of IPA. Does that mean I'm going to be one of these wankers who goes on to Untapped and gives a beer a low score? because they're not a fan of a very specific thing relating to that beer in terms of its like genetic makeup in the brewing process. You know, like when these people who give like a one star for a, a sour beer and you go, oh, I don't really like sour beers, one star. I mean, you rate beers how you want to. I'm not one of these people who get me high horse and like sign a petition for untapped to be stricter with the rating guidelines or something, but... <laughs> You know, you're doing a disservice to the brewery at the end of the day when you do stuff like that. Not that they're probably going to lose any sleep over any of your opinions about their beer. That's been probably enjoyed by a lot of people. But it's, it's just not my sort of hazy double IPA. And that's really the only, it's not even a negative, it's just a very subjective um, pretty sensible thing to say. I'm saying this as if people are having a go at me. They're not. Because there's no one here. Uh, you're leaning on a, a container of Mayflower um, curry sauce powder, which is tip-top, by the way. And I think I've just got a message from uh, friends who don't want to do anything because um, I've become a social leper, apparently, even though... I'm always asking, do people want to do stuff? Anyway, we won't talk about that unless you really want to and give me the time of day and your attention. It's a sad, sad life. At least I'll be able to have a, a little bit of banter with the uh, Iceland man as he drops the food off. <laughs> anyway, he's so good at acting. Yeah, not bad. I'm sure there'll be people who will think this is the best in the Dipper series, version series, I, I should say. Um, but even on like that sort of level, with beers that have this sort of feel, I have personally had uh, much better, more satisfying ones. But like I said, that's not saying it's a bad beer by any stretch. Um, and yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what the uh, the next range beer is is going to be like with cloud water which i think has also got some uh, new world hops is new world new zealand australia i've been doing this for how many years now and i still don't know fuck all but um, yeah it's nice but it's just not in line with my preferences and my preferred pronouns are he slash cunt so yeah go check out cloud water go check out sorry for the uh uh, microaggression. Well, it wasn't really a microaggression. It was actually fundamentally aggressive language. Um, I do apologise and um, very, very sorry. Anyway, yeah, go check out Collab Water. Go check out Range. And um, yeah, if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. And my fringe is doing my absolute nothing, so let's look like I'm balding. Thank you for watching, guys. See you later.